Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix apps not opening crashing on Mac OS. Well, I had experienced this even on a brand new MacBook Pro 2023 16 inch M3. Annoying, I know. And I'm going to show you some of the methods I've tried. Uh, some of them didn't work at all, but one method actually helped me. I'm going to share with you all the method. Maybe, maybe some of this method will actually help you fix the problem. So the first one, which is if the app is already open, but is not responsive, we're going to try to force quit it. And here's what you're going to have to do. So you're going to have to click on the Apple logo in the top left corner of your screen, this one here, and then here you have, um, you can race, you can force, uh, force quit. Okay, click on this. And then here you can see all the apps that are running right now. You just select the app that's uh, causing you problems, that's annoying you, that's... Um, and that. now just choose the problematic uh, app that's causing you problems from this list and uh, select the app and select now. After you select the app, just click on force quit. Now, another method that you should try is to, believe it or not, but simply restarting your your mac can solve can often solve the the glitches that that um, the uh, that might be causing the app to crash those like temporary crashes so if you click on apple and then you click on restart this can fix the problem by the way this is the method that fix the problem for me and uh, yeah as i said by just doing this this uh, you can uh, finally uh, solve the problem with crashing and it's very important to even sometimes you can uh, you know we are we usually don't uh, close uh, res sorry we don't um, shut down our mac Usually we aren't doing this, but it's really recommended that you actually sometimes, it's just sometimes you restart your Mac, you shut down your Mac. Usually we aren't doing this, but um, especially for Mac Mac users, we aren't doing this. But yeah, sometimes it's very good, especially if you have problems with an app that's causing you problems. This will remove the glitches and that might have some problem with the app that caused the app the glitch the bug whatever now the other thing that you can do is to update the app so you can go to app store app so you can click on here app store and here you can update all the apps this can fix the problem because you know maybe there's a app uh, there's a bug sorry on um, that version of your of the app that you're it's causing problems and then you know by doing this by maybe the next update that you just updated uh there's no longer that uh bug so it's very important to also update your app store apps uh, and also another method very important is to go to system settings and then here in system settings click on general then here in general click on software update and then just update your mac as you can see i have the latest version i'm up to date but make sure to update that's so important and also here make sure you download the new updates when available and install security responses and system files this this can very be very automatically also install updates that if that's what you want but I don't want, but yeah, uh, that can be very helpful as well. And after you update your Mac and it's still not working, uh, even if you try all the methods here, you can also go to security and security and privacy and then select the app from the list. So if you go to system settings here and then you go to privacy and security here and on this list, select the app so we can see here usually here appears in the security make sure the you, you don't have like maybe there's some permissions usually here you have to accept some permissions and that might cause the problem now if still have the same problem now you can just uninstall the app that's something i'll try i usually use this app when i'm uh, removing an app uh, on macbook i'm using this uh, tool and if i want to remove something i'll just drag and drop the app here and it'll remove all the apps actually i'm going to show you so let's say i would like to remove this app 
I'm going to drag this up in App Cleaner. And now, as you can see, all the files, I can click on Remove. And yeah, very simple. And then reinstall the app. So yeah, if really, you should try this only if none of the, um, the solutions I showed you uh, did not work. So you, please, you should actually uh, should install, uninstall it and reinstall the app because this will remove any corrupted files that me that might be causing the the crashes. So also maybe back up, maybe have some important data within the app before uninstalling. You know. Now, uh, also another thing that you should think uh, about this problem. It's a rare scenario, uh, but maybe there's an app that's like conflicting with the another app, and those two apps can interfere and then cause problems. I don't know. I never experienced this, but um, I know this solution from Windows actually. <laughs> so I don't even know like if that's really uh, if that's really there are actually cases where you have apps, two apps that are conflicting with each other on Mac and. Uh, you can't, um, you know, you can't uh, actually give you a lot of uh, a lot of problems. So yeah, that's something you can try as well. So when you uninstall and then reinstall and then check if there's any softwares, apps, maybe try this as well. Now, if you if you still have the same problem, I don't know, you should try to um, search online for solutions specific for the app that you're having issues with. There might be some very popular uh, bugs that people talked in a like uh, community in um what it's called in English in um in a community, and um, yeah, try and see maybe there's some very common box for that app and people have people they shared with others some solutions and uh, maybe also if you still having this problem maybe it's not the app maybe it's your mac there's some internal problems if you're having the prop this problem with other apps as well so is it's not like one sim one single app that's causing you this problem that's crashing is not opening maybe there's others as well so this may be i'm not uh, a professional by any means i'm not te technical in this but maybe is like some internal problem that's causing this and you should uh, just uh, take your macbook to a professional to investigate the problem the troubleshoot your mac and that's all I have for you. I hope uh, this fixed the problem for you. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and take care.